I'm so happy to be with you. This is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, Venus, wherever Virgo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies. Yep. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. Virgo. The oracle card reading is right here on YouTube, and then we're gonna do a full tarot card spread extended reading. That link is in the description box below, and it includes the romantic forecast. Let it shine. 10, you're coming to the end of a cycle, and you're transforming, but you're transforming into something very different, and you have to be willing to be very different. It's a new life. And it, what a wonderful and beautiful life it is. Your voice is being heard. You could be using your voice a lot, you know, shining out, speaking out, being heard. Um, this is scorpionic energy, a fulfillment of a cycle. It's not, it's almost like not an end. The not, and the energy of nine is a culminating. Something's coming to a head, but the energy of 10 is fulfillment. You've fulfilled a part of your life and it's almost like you're beginning a whole new one. This is your card, Peacock, which is akin to the Phoenix rising from the ashes. I bet you have endured some major hardship. It, it doesn't have to be financial. It could be anything, emotional, social, personal. Um, and now it's over. And it's strange how difficult it can be to leave the ashes behind when they've kept us warm for so long. Yeah. But this is the week when it actually all comes out and there's a spotlight on you. I think that you, like I said, are being listened to, you're being heard. And what's more, you're not afraid to speak out. Now, you're exceptional at vocal, verbal communications. Um, you're ruled by Mercury. And one of the most musical signs in the Zodiac is what you are. So you could be sharing your voice, you could be singing a song, you could be relaying. It's so interesting that before I did this reading, I'm, I'm going to share this with you. Before I did this reading, I went on YouTube and did karaoke for like five minutes to cleanse my heart to like, and I just, I just needed to do it before I spoke to you. So there is this energy of using music to cleanse your heart, listening to the music that sort of helps you be yourself. It speaks to you. It speaks to your soul and it, it almost shows you the way. Uh, if that makes any sense to you. I don't know if you're going to a concert this week or you're going to get to meet somebody that you really love, uh, like a musician that you really love and, and admire, or it's just op listening to them opens you up. Um, or you're sharing your music with other people and you're opening up. Um, it is a way that you feel very strong and very confident. It's a stance of power, but it's not about power as in control or dominance. It's about um, honesty and self-certainty and that's the greatest power of all isn't it so that's the energy that's crowning your reading Virgo 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 more song more singing um, also more stability looking into the future hearing hearing words hearing somebody talk this is this is Taurus energy um, what I love about this energy is it does look into the future. It's not necessarily the future, but as in just like a few streets ahead because it has that sort of aerial view while still being well rooted with four hooves. So it is Taurus energy. It's gentle energy. It's kind energy. It's sweetness. It's innocence. It's, um, you know, uh, nine plus two. It's 11. It's awakening. <laughs> so it's like you're awakening to your future or something in your life is waking up and broadening and expanding and opening up. It could be a child because there's innocence to this card. This isn't technically a child card, but it could be a child broadening and expanding and opening up. Um, this is sing your own song. Once again, hearing and listening and being very, very musical and having music play a key role in expressing yourself and sharing yourself with somebody, somebody singing a lot, singing to somebody and or rehearing re and receiving. But I really think this is more about physical expression of song. 
So the power of song healing, I would not be surprised if you, well, you probably put, honestly, you're probably big music fans already, but this is the energy of having to sing along or singing louder than you normally would in the shower. This need to engage in the musicality and in the voice. It's interesting. Both cards of being heard have come out. And this is um, canary energy is Gemini energy, which is also mercurial, your sister sign in Mercury. Um, they're more about communicating to one person, one-on-one, -on -one. Um, whereas you're sort of communicating to like the crowd. Overcome any obstacle, more Taurus energy. This is breaking through. Maybe you made a breakthrough at work. You know, they're finally listening to you. They're finally listening to your proposal. Maybe you made a breakthrough at school. Maybe you're uh, auditioning for a play. There's something about you, a major breakthrough happening through song and music. Um, this could be healing. This could be music therapy. This could be therapy helping somebody that's important to you, a little bird, something that you care for and care about. Um, um, this could be, ha I just feel like, I feel your heart cracking open when you hear this sound, right? Your baby's first words, right? That, that could be, it's almost like one of those sounds. That could be a very special moment, a breakthrough and a major change. So this has been, remember what I said, what I said in the crowning energy, there's been hardship. There was something that burned you to the ashes. There's been, there's been destruction in your life. And it's coming out of them and rising and something really beautiful coming out of it. A situation that maybe you'd given up hope on is now beautiful. Now this, this um, rhino energy, I will say this, this isn't just any energy. Okay, this isn't just random energy, like spirit coming in and saving the day. This had to do with sort of some sort of tenacity in yourself. And you could have been knocking your head against the wall and like cracking your skull and like thinking that it was, you know, that you were never going to break through, but you finally got through. So the change didn't just come. The change came from you being tenacious and not giving up. So that would be the, cir the circumstance. Wow, the central energy is being able to let go of the past, leaving it in the past. Like to let let the let the dead be buried. Let it let it be okay. Like be settled, be calm, give the ghosts up, um, and transform. Like almost resurrection and rise from, like I said, rise from the ashes from the beginning. This is once again transformative energy. You get this peacock and here too. This is a change that's never going to go back. It's like once the dragonfly becomes the dragonfly, he doesn't go back to being the larva, right? Once the butterfly becomes the butterfly, he doesn't go back to being the caterpillar. That's that's just how it is. So this change is permanent. It's not something like, in other words, you've gained ground uh, and you've rooted yourself in a new place, and you're not going to lose this ground. This is ground that you can depend on. Look, dragonfly energy, even though it's an air energy, two plus two is four. That's a number of earth. Four is the earth number. It's solid. The four numbers, the four elements, four, it's a solid number. So you can count on this change. And I almost feel like There could be a little bit of melancholy here, but it's not sadness. It's, it's, there's a little bit of pride, I can honestly say. Maybe you're proud of yourself. I'm doing an open mic night, doing an open mic night or something. Like you're proud of yourself and you can't turn back. Something's happening this week that you just can't turn back. And I don't, you wouldn't want to. It's, not, it's a really good thing. Nothing is wasted. All this time has taught you to be stronger all these challenges have taught you how to make make ends meet when you needed to. All the struggle has made you be able to see beauty in places that you didn't before. 
And so even though you're clear of it, I do feel like there's this need for you to go on and help other people get out of it now too. Like there's, there's this energy of going back to show other people how to wanting to help. And maybe that's what all this song and voice is actually you sharing what you've learned to help others. Um, loyalty, be loyal to what you love. You're going to stick with this. This is something that matters a lot to you. And this is true loyalty. This is Cancerian energy. This is complete and total devotion. This is um, true friendship. This is that energy of um, a long-term commitment. To It may not be to a person, but to this is the energy of 10 too. So this is fulfillment of a cycle. Like all this time, all this energy that you've put in, and now it's almost like you're using it. You want to turn around and use all that you've earned to be able to break down walls for other people. Be the voice. Maybe you're becoming an advocate. Child advocate of some sort. Don't dream. Don't start. There is always enough. This is Pisces energy. This is swimming in your emotions and feeling good about them. Feeling secure, knowing that there's always enough. Um, so you're surrounded by resources and support and unconditional love, or you're being that for somebody else. Watch your words. It's all about words this week. It's all about um, being very, very careful. No, this is about knowing what to say, knowing the right words to say, choosing them wisely. There's strategy in your words. Um, and sweet results await. You're going to win. And what I love about this card, I've said this before, this is Leo. So this is feeling your like sun, right? Feeling really good about yourself, confident. It's earned. This, once again, just like the um, rhino energy, the Taurus energy. And I'll flip the camera around so you can see the cards again. Don't worry about it. Um, this is earned worth, earned, earned, earned abundance, right? The bee doesn't just get honey rained on them. The bee makes the honey, right? And it risks a lot day in and day out. They work hard together. Maybe there's been companionship. You've been doing some project at work or working really hard with your family. This is about endless, endless pursuit of a specific goal. And now it's, it's dripping in honey. It's here. Seven, see, you created this. You created this value you created this energy and now i think you have enough to basically share and I, I think that what i what i mean by share is like share your wisdom share your knowledge um share what you've earned in terms of what you've learned the learned earn um and you're using your words you're using your voice very very strategically hold on okay so do you see what I'm saying? Almost all my use your voice cards are out. And this is, th this in context to this reading, this parrot spirit is, you're, you are using your words very strategically. You know exactly what to say to get the results that you need to push things forward and to make things happen for you. And you're literally burying the past behind you. You're letting go of old ghosts. You're healing yourself. You're healing old wounds. Old wounds that maybe you thought you would never heal are, are coming to a close and showing some strength that you never realized. It's like, this is how I healed the wound. Like sharing that wisdom with others, rising from the ashes to be that guiding light for other people, um, that source of hope. Um, also, I think of a big source of inspiration. Virgo, this is you, but I think it's not just you that is becoming the inspiration. It's you that's been inspired. It's like you could be sharing. I don't know. Like I keep hearing it's almost like music therapy or something like that. Could be, it could be literally music therapy, but there's a major breakthrough that's happened. Maybe it's like picking up an old record that you haven't record. You can tell how old I am when I say record, right? Um, yeah, it's like picking up an old album that you haven't heard in a long time and it cracking your heart open and healing you. 
And it's like, it's like working something out through music. Um, so there's a personal healing that's gone on, but then there's also this grounding energy is maybe you were inspired to look through your old albums because you you needed it for a project. It's like the, there's, there's an outside goal that you're aiming at too, and you've completed it. Like this is accomplishment. This is success. It's a major, major breakthrough. So it's almost like Henry Higgins finally breaking through to Eliza Doolittle and hearing her use words in the way that he was aiming for her to use words. You know, after all that stress and believing that it wouldn't happen or thinking that this is like, I'm up against the impossible, but you just made the impossible possible. Remember, it's only impossible until it isn't. Let's go over to the extended. I hope I see you there, Virgo. The link is below and your romance reading is over there too. I'll see you there.